guys, uh, you get Portland tomorrow. They're one of the teams that's kind of picked to do some good things in the West this year. How do you guys view this game against them tomorrow? A, a great challenge for us to stay undefeated, that's for sure. They're a team that matches well against us. They've played well against us in the past. They beat us on the home court last year, uh, something that we normally have been able to avoid. Split with them, so you know we know we know what we have up, uh, we're up against. After last night's challenge, is this one you also need a better one well, for you, uh, perhaps? You know, they, they're uh, a conference opponent, you know, so it makes a difference. We play them four times, or maybe it's only three. I don't know. I don't know I think it's three last year. Was three it last year? Yeah, three. They beat you two out of three. I looked it up to be sure. Two out of three. But you guys Including beat one. the uh, the curse. The Rose Garden. Yeah, you, you did went up yeah. there. <laughs> Kobe didn't play. Yeah. But Neither I don't did. think Roy played either. Neither did yeah, they, had, they had a lot of injuries. Yeah. You mentioned last night, uh, as far as today, you're going to go over film and emphasize a few things. What were the main points about this? Well, just how to get back in defensive retreat. Some of it's, uh, you know, we got, we got confused about his own. And, you know, our rotation back to Fetz, we had rebound wise, was poor. Uh, other things is uh, we just made mistakes uh, getting back in transition, uh, let guys run behind us. And so those are the major things. You just don't want to give up transition baskets, which lead to you know high percentage shooting. He didn't play Ryan much, maybe at all in the fourth quarter. Is he still kind of up and down a little bit, or that's just the, the way things were set up with the way the rotation was? For yeah, you know, Co Kobe's had a difficult time guarding Barbosa, and you know Shannon's good, you know. On Barbosa, and he's a tough customer for Kobe to chase right now. And they had their their guard, DeRozan, at uh, small, small forward. forward. So it was a pretty natural matchup for us to go that direction, even though we're a little smaller. Any uh, special like, feeling about playing Portland? Um, just another game, but at the same time, you know, I, I know all those guys over there. Uh, I have a lot of respect for them. I love playing for Coach McMillan. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, though. It's going to be fun. Do you uh, help maybe contribute even more to the scouting report with this one? As uh, far as possibly. Go? Possibly. Um, yeah, you know, I'll, I'm sure I'll you know, let guys know the tendencies of some of the players and, and some things they lean towards on the offensive end. Yeah, I'll try to help out. Right. Hey, how well did you know Maurice Lucas? Excuse me? How well did you know Maurice Lucas when you were up there? Did you know him pretty well? I, I know him really well. I, I got to be uh, really good friends with him you know, off the court as well. I did a lot of things with him off the court. And, you know, he was a special person. I mean, people loved to be around him. He was a uh, big guy with big personality, you know. Everybody loved him. Everybody uh, loved him, so he's going to be missed. Do you have any particular memories that stand out regarding? Oh, nothing in particular. I mean, it was, it was just every, every time you were around him, he was making somebody laugh or, uh -huh. or just, uh, just making people feel good. I mean, he, was, he knew the game of basketball. He always teaching the bigs. And, He'd always come out there and mess with me before practice and stuff like that. So, right. great guy. You kind of share the perspective of the other side. I know Portland going into games, and I'm sure a lot of other teams have mentioned this as well. It's just when they go to match up against the Lakers, it's something that they circle on their calendar. Being on that other side before, what's kind of the mindset that's usually taking place before playing the Lakers? Um, yeah, I think I'm. Just a, a little bit more focus, you know. Right. You know, you know that more people are going to be watching the game, whether it be on TV. Or, so it's just uh, the atmosphere. Is, atmosphere is a little bit more intense, you know. When teams come in, or, or the Lakers come into their home court, so you know, it gets, just makes people want to step up their game. Yeah. So, what uh, was the point of emphasis in practice today? Today, uh, more of uh, defense. You know, defensive transition, getting back on defense, pretty much. Do you see that more of from, from the rebounding end point, or just getting back in general from defense, or just I didn't, I didn't hear what you started with from from the defensive standpoint. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I know you and a lot of players are just kind of citing a lot of the different contributing factors yesterday. Do, do you see it more from the rebounding end, or just transition, or do you see it more from the screen and roll? Um, well, really, we need to work on all the aspects. Right. I mean, it's, it's early on in the season. We have you know, some improvements to make. Um, you know, we didn't, you know, as a team, we didn't get right. back and talk and point and make sure right. everyone was covered. Um, got a little confused on some different pick and roll coverages. Right. 
And you know, Toronto had some really good rebounders. They have Alfred Reggie Evans is one of the best rebounders in the NBA. So, and he was a big part of you know getting offensive boards. So, so it's the, more of like a cyclical type. Yeah, thing. so everything put together. It's not like right, we're right, right. really bad in one area, but when you put little mistakes together all over the court, uh, you know, it hurts you. You know, but good thing it didn't hurt us enough to lose the game.